Well, Goodwood Festival of Speed 2021, and we're all finally here. It is so exciting. Um, in our series of driver interviews, first up, we have the man of the moment. It is Mr. Martin Gould. Martin, uh, must be great to be back out here again. Oh, it's fantastic. It's such an honour to be invited back again to Goodwood, especially with it not running last year for obvious reasons. So, yeah, a little bit touch and go if, if it was going to go ahead, obviously. But couldn't be happier to be here again. Can't wait for it all to start. Yeah, but it's the moment that call to Goodwood comes through, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, <laughs> it is. It is. When the, uh, when the email comes, when the package arrives in the post, Good you know, go, yeah, then. big smile Good on your face and you then start getting things ready, which seems to take forever. Yeah. But <laughs> you make it, you get here, and it's now calm before the storm That's tomorrow. Right. Exactly. Now your car sat behind is that fabulous rivet. <laughs> and what we do know about this rivet is, as a, when you bought it, it had already been a championship winning car, mm -hmm. fabulous, uh, beautifully built, did everything it needed to do. You bought it straight off the championship podium and straight in. Pretty much, yeah. And you're winning again, Pretty straight much. out. Yeah, we, uh, we bought it at uh, the end of 2015 after it winning the 14 championship um, and then entered the 16, 2016 championship in the UK um, and successfully successfully won that uh, that season and then very successfully defended it in 2017. So yeah, it's the uh, to knowledge, it is the only it's the only vehicle to win a French Tout Terrain Championship and the British Championship. Yeah, incredible, incredible car. Now we've got um, the shootouts, this, mm -hmm. of course, as always, which is highly contested. Now we've had a, all had a couple of quiet years, obviously with COVID happening and everything. Uh, but some four by four. What have you been up to, and how have you been preparing the car for this? <laughs> We've been unbelievably busy, um, and the cars had to take a little bit of a, a back seat, like you say, until until you get the call, until the the email drops in your in your inbox, and then uh, priorities change somewhat. So the car, no, it's had a uh, it's had an engine overhaul. Um, um, obviously, the the prep that you would do for any event, let alone one that's such a on such a big stage. Um, you know, the last thing you want is a is an ill prepared vehicle turning up at an event like this with so, so many spectators. Um, so fingers crossed. We've ticked all the boxes in, yeah. and it should be super reliable. But yeah, can't wait to can't wait to get on that uh, on that arena. So, have you done anything special to it for Goodwood? Have you prepared it? In not not ways? particularly. No. I mean, we were uh, we were wanting to drop the weight a little bit, and we were wanting to take um, take the weight ballast off the off the underside of the car, which we have to run for um, the FIA class weight minimum weight in France. So we could drop the car by about 80 kilos. Um, it was within it was in the plan uh, to do that before we got here, but uh, ran out of time and a and slightly unenthusiastic co-driver who would have been doing that job. <laughs> Simon Kerfoot <laughs> Simon is Kerfoot. the most enthusiastic person <laughs> I know. He wasn't so enthusiastic <laughs> on uh, on Sunday afternoon when, when I suggested removing the weight. <laughs> I think a few choice words was pointed in my direction. Yeah, I think it was only one good one to do So, um, finally, Martin, coming up, as I say, we've got the shooter on everything. What do you think is the advantage you've got with uh, this car, but also your style of driving? What do you think would be um, your main advantage? I mean, everybody's got an advantage somewhere, um, be it power, be it weight, um, you know, the, the, like you say, the style that they drive. I think our advantage, really, because we're not a hugely powerful power plant, um, we're about 340, 350 horsepower currently. But and very light. I was moving on to say, yes, yeah. so in its current weight, it's about 1,050 kilos. Uh, obviously, we could drop that um, had that uh, happened. Could have been lighter. Yeah, yeah. it could have been lighter. Uh, and equally, it could. Um, uh, we've realised that we can actually squeeze a few more horses out of it, which unfortunately didn't happen for Goodwood. So a little disappointing in that sense, but it's always next year. Yeah, and you've got British cross country. Yeah, yeah. No, again, unfortunately, we're not not able to to uh, to oh, play no in that uh, that field. No, we might uh, we might see if we can get a couple of um, weekend entries in there. Try and get some seat time, really. Yeah. The last time we drove the car in any competitive manner was September 19. Oh, I see. So I reckon, I reckon the shootout, your big moment then. So well, your moment to shine. I mean, Goodwood used to be, um, you know, it, it is really good fun and it always has been really good mm. fun, but it was really good fun four days demonstrating what our vehicles can do, what our sport is. Yeah. Whereas with the shootout now, it's definitely turned into three days testing for one hour's <laughs> racing. <laughs> so. I've never seen so many bonnets up on the second year of the shootout. Absolutely. Throughout the four-day weekend, prior to the Sunday afternoon shootout. <laughs> can we get so so many spanners out and yeah. so many navigators out? <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. So, no, it um, it, it's definitely brought a, a, a nice and competitive element to 
the uh, off-road uh, arena um, because it's something to build to and it, that anticipation really does build as the weekend goes on. So can Martin Gould get ready because you are going to split your ears. We're not going to say a word as he heads up to that first side, that first corner, that first firm. Just going to let Martin Gould rip up through there. Fabulous car. Wait for the switch. Gets the colours. Yeah. <laughs> 